the direct hit, an unlockable primary for the Soldier class, which was released December 17th, 2009 for a War Update patch, but you didn't come here for a history lesson. You want to talk about taking pixels and then smacking them into other pixels and then something dies and explodes. That's what we're going to talk about today. I guess before I talk about the weapon, I should probably show you the stats and talk about them. So, bam, that's them on the screen right there. Now they're on the left side, now they're on the right side. That's fun. I'm not going to read them out because... Hopefully you can read. If you don't know how to read, this probably isn't the video for you. A lot of stuff will go over your head. Anyways, pesky scout mains jumping all over your shit, then you need to pick up a direct hit because golly gee gwilligers, this weapon is very good for killing light classes, especially scouts. And if you play matchmaking, trust me, they're like monkeys in a barrel in competitive. Using the Criticola, whew. but that's a story for another day. Or a topic for another video, I guess would be a better analogy. Beside the point... A wise man once said that if you could theoretically hit every single shot with a direct hit, it would be better than stock. This doesn't apply to me because I will miss a lot of shots in general. But that doesn't mean it's off the table. This weapon will essentially light shot certain classes in lots of scenarios. I know it won't theoretically do it in every scenario, but most of the time you're going to be running into people when they don't have overheal or when they are all clumped together and they won't notice when you hit them two times in a row. My point being that if you can consistently land shots with this weapon, it will be equal to stock at the very least, in my opinion. If you know how to air shot with this weapon, then that's even more icing for the shit cake that is this weapon. Just make sure you're not the one eating the weapon. I mean, the cake. Don't eat the cake. Don't eat the cake or the weapon. Wow, I'm really bad with words. No way to gosh darn second, Funk. That explosion radius is pretty gosh darn important, don't you gosh darn thick? That's true, this weapon is rocking a hardcore 70% reduction on explosion radius. And if you ever play competitive, the ability to spam out corridors and choke points and cheeses and beezes and jesus is pretty important for the game mode. That said, you will have other classes that can excel in doing such spam. So if you were to theoretically land a lot of shots with a direct hit, you could make up for it. There is still 30% explosion radius, so there's a tiny bit... If, like, maybe they get really close. Otherwise, you're kind of going to have to consider this weapon more of a hit scan, if anything. As in, when you see one target, you can only focus a single target. With the normal rocket launcher, you can kind of aim in between two people. That way you can get multiple damages. With this, it's basically focus one person at a time. So let's weigh our options. In the left-hand corner, we have the stock rocket launcher, which excels in damage and crowd control. In the right-hand corner, we have the direct hit, which excels in killing specific targets, assuming you know how to aim. And it's still good for breaking up clumps of enemies that are close together. So overall, it's a pretty good weapon. Oh, I forgot. The view model for the stock rocket launcher is alright. It's not too in your face. The direct hit, though, <sighs> takes up about 25% of your entire screen, which is <laughs> annoying, to say the least. Plus Valve locks your view model FOV in competitive matchmaking. You can still turn off view models if you want to do that. And I think you can still do transparent view models. But if you're somebody that wants to see your arms completely, shit out of luck, man. You're probably going to have to get used to transparent or not at all. You ever notice that I hate you? You ever notice that I literally never miss a shot? Never. It's just, it's not, how, it's not possible. I've never missed a shot in my life. They have three snipers. They have three snipers in here. Haha, uh -huh, Leafy. Uh, I will. That feel when you kill yourself. Yes, there's definitely commands for look up and down, but they don't seem to do anything. No, like in the options. Oh, you just got your air shot. I'm sorry, go on. I just opened up my console. <laughs> this thing has 70% less explosion radius and I still took out two people at once. I Air blasted him. Come on. There hey. you go. We did it. Hey. Wait, there's a sniper. There's a sniper. There's a sniper. Come on. Hey. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Okay, get this. Get this pyro. Woo. Dude, Woo. we're on a roll. <laughs> yeah. I probably could have killed them like if they were on the ground, but yeah. It's like, You're an asshole, said somebody. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, I guess it's referring to me. 186. Come on. Come on. All right, Get this I'm, guy. I'm not in there. I just oh, pinballed oh, him. Oh my god! I just what? got a headshot what? kill with a fucking huntsman on a guy! Hey, look at that body. Look at that sniped body. <gasps> I think I finally weighed all the options between the stock rocket launcher and the direct hit on which one would be the best option to use in competitive matchmaking. 
The final tally shows that the Liberty Launcher is obviously the best choice above anything else. It has an extra shot. I don't know what else you want with this. You can also rocket jump a bunch. I know that the shots are like cotton candy pellets, so they don't actually do any damage at all. But you can combo it up with a buff banner and it'll do at least 5 damage to people you hit. So silver lining. So I think everyone should equip the Liberty Launcher. It's the best rocket launcher in the game. <laughs> Have a good one. Chicken booty making sweet love.